You can now make circuits with React. It's called TS Circuit and you can install it with NPM. After you install it, you should have the TSCI command line utility, which you can run to play with it interactively. First, I'm gonna create a new directory called my blinking LED. Then I'll run TSCI in it, then TSCI dev. Now I can open up my web browser and I can see a schematic and a PCB layout generated from my React code. For this project, we're gonna install the battery and 555 timer components. We can add these using TSCI add. You can also see uh, what these look like from the registry. Okay, now let's start coding. Open up VS Code and create an empty circuit. Let's import the battery and 555 timer component and then uh, and add it to our circuit. As we develop, the preview window is gonna instantly update with all of our changes. Now let's add all the passive components, that's the resistors and the capacitor. And then finally, we can connect all of our components together with traces. Traces can use something like a CSS selector and automatically figure out how to route themselves. You can hover over ports to figure out what selector is available for that component. We've created our schematic, so now let's get the PCB working. Each component has a footprint, which is the physical copper pad it rests on on the PCB board. We can specify the footprint with a string using standard terminology like SSOP16 or 0402, but we can also import or specify our pads manually. Here I'm importing a classic axial footprint. After we've settled on the footprint, we need to position the component, which you can do with auto layout, or more simply, by just specifying the X and Y position on the board. When you're all done, you can go to File, Export Bill of Materials and Gerbers, and then upload to a manufacturer. In no time, and for maybe $50, you'll have a circuit board in front of you. When your circuit is ready to share, you can run TSCI Publish to upload it to the TS Circuit Registry. The registry lets people see different examples of your circuit and browse the code that produced it. TS Circuit is in early beta, and I'd like to talk to you. So go to tscircuit.com and uh, click community, and then just go ahead and send a message on the general channel. Say hi. I'd love to chat and see what you'd like to do with TS Circuit. Thanks a ton.